You know what annoys me the most about the pre-order process with every year's iPhone? It's the fact we don't get to see the colors in real life conditions. Instead, we base our decision over the renders on Apple's page, which of course in the past have not been very accurate and have been completely different from how the color looks in real life. For example, the red iPhone 12 was a lot lighter in person and was more coralish and pinkish, which people did not like, but of course it was too late to cancel their order and so this is an issue we have every year and this is an issue I have this year because I was unsure how Sierra Blue would look in real life but now we do have some real life images and guys I am pretty glad I went for Sierra Blue but anyways let's delve into all these colours and let's delve into my thoughts on these new colours and how they look in real life. We also have images of the boxes and the new packaging Apple's using for the iPhone 13 series. And so let's delve into this, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just tuck in. Right, so delving into the regular iPhone 13 colors first, let's begin with Midnight and Starlight. These are basically black and white from last year, but with fancy names, and there's no visual changes with the colors, as far as I can see. But moving on to that pink, the renders on the site don't do this color justice, because in the renders, the pink was very subtle, and I was not a massive fan of that, because I would appreciate a hot pink, but this instead is a very subtle pink, and looks like a white iPhone half the time. But guys, I'm happy to report, in these real life images, that's not really the case. Now of course, it's far from the hot pink I want, but this definitely is not a subtle pink like the renders portray. This instead is a very nice creamy light pink, and guys, I can't lie, this looks pretty good. Now moving on to the blue, this was actually the color I was impressed with in the renders because I was not a massive fan of the dark blue we had last year, but this was more of a mix between the 10R blue and the iPhone 12 blue. But guys, in these images, I can't tell the difference between the iPhone 12 and 13 blue. They look the same and that's kind of disappointing in my opinion because I do prefer lighter shades of blue. So this is not a color I would personally go for. But then we get the red and this looks as good as the renders. It's a very dark red, very synonymous with the 10R red. So yes, I'm glad Apple's finally giving us proper reds with the regular iPhone. Anyways, let's now shift our focus to the Pro models. So of course, to no one's surprise, Graphite and Silver looks near identical to the last versions, and they're always the safe options to get, but yeah, there's nothing much to say about these colors. So let's move our attention to the gold and the Sierra Blue. So beginning with the gold, I can't lie, I'm a little disappointed. It looks very washed out in these images, and it reminds me of a knockoff gold iPhone. So yes, I'm not a massive fan of this new shade. They've gone for the gold. But guys, moving on to the Sierra Blue, I have to say it looks absolutely amazing. And I definitely have no regrets getting this color. You see, I know there is a lot of love for the Pacific Blue we had with the iPhone 12 Pro series. But in my opinion, it was a little too dark. As I said, I do prefer lighter shades. And Sierra Blue is exactly that. It's a lighter version of Pacific Blue and that's exactly what I want. And I must say, much like the pink, the renders were suggesting it was a baby blue, but that's definitely not the case, as we can see in these images. And yes, I'm just glad I took the risk and went for this color because I am in love with this shade. Right, so those are the colors. Let's now move on to the packaging with the iPhone 13. So in case you don't know, Apple's removing the plastic wrap they usually cover their boxes with, and instead they're now using a pull tab on the back. So yes, if you remember that packaging leak we got a few weeks ago, that was actually legit. And one final thing to note, but the boxes now show the back of the iPhone much like the iPhone 11 series, instead of the front like we saw with the iPhone 12s. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the colors. Here's my rankings for the colors this year, and of course do remember that this list is subjective. It's my opinion, so tell me your favorite colors in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news 
and rumors. Check out the video in the account above on details regarding the new MacBooks. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, peeps.